Hey, how you doing? Um, I was wanting to talk to you about this message I got. It was a instant message I got when I was on MySpace the other day. You know, I went on MySpace the other day, and I don't go on MySpace much anymore. But whenever I go on MySpace, I feel like I'm visiting a ghost town. Whenever I'm there, I like fully expect a gust of wind to come up and a tumbleweed to bounce across the computer screen. Then I kind of look around the place and you see some stuff and it's kind of like I say to myself, man, I bet this place used to be really cool. But anyway, I'm visiting my space and this, um, this I am pops up and it's on some chick. She's in a bathing suit and she's a really good looking girl. And I, you know, I, I, I kind of read the message and I could tell right away, you know, it's spam for some, uh, enlarger penis website or whatever. And I kind of read through it, but I, I really didn't think much about it. But then, it's kind of, for some reason, it's been in my head, and I've been thinking about it lately. And the reason that I've been thinking about it is just how lame of an attempt it is to try to sell to sell this stuff. And it makes me wonder, does this even like really work, this effort they put into it? Because I felt like it was so poorly put together. And I'll, I'll tell you, this is exactly what, or it isn't exactly what it said, but it's like in jest because I deleted it and I'm trying, and I'm going by memory. But basically what she said was something like this. She said, hi, my friend Kevin told me not to tell anybody about this, but I haven't seen Kevin or spoke to Kevin in like four weeks now, so I suppose it's okay. Kevin used to be really small until he visited this site, and there's the link to the site. And ever since he visited this site, he's much bigger. Right? The first the first thing that kind of sticks out is I, I think whoever came up with this idea thought, well, you know, it'll be a much better seller if we sell it from the from some hot chick point of view. But what gets me is to to me it just like it just comes out as a complete lie. Like there's no no, no possible way this could be true. I mean, to, for this to be true, you have to figure that this girl's obviously sleeping with Kevin. Kevin's so small that you know it's it's noticeable. And then overnight, he he's so big that she asks him, she's got to ask him, why are you so much bigger now? So Kevin doesn't give just some generic explanation why, like oh, I'm on, I've been taking some vitamins or this or that. He tells her the exact website where he got this stuff. He either shows it to her or tells her, and she remembers it. And not only does she, has she remembered it, she's remembered it for what is now four weeks because she said in her deal, I haven't spoken or seen Kevin for four weeks. So she remembers this for what is now at least four weeks. This is stuck in her brain for four weeks. And obviously, the way she comes across saying it in her deal, like so, she's been sitting on this information, like been wanting to tell. This is so amazing. I've been wanting to tell somebody for four weeks, or I've been wanting to tell somebody. But Kevin told me not to, so I've been I've been sitting on this. But I suppose it's okay now. So I suppose it's okay. And who do, who does she tell? Who's like the first person she tells? One of her friends, a guy, some guy she knows, a girlfriend. No, the first person she tells is a random person off of the internet off the internet